Call me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Video Diary Part 3. We had a very um, lean week in the studio last week. It was half term, things like that. We had a couple of days. But um, that's why you didn't get a video update last week. This week, we've had a really good week. We've been mostly preparing a kind of DJ live set. Um, we've been getting up to speed with bits of technology, trying to get our lemurs to work properly. Um, and we've been remixing Satan for the opening of our set in a, in a different kind of style. Um, if I play it now, it'll probably just distort, but let's try. So we get in. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so we've sort of gone off the map this week, um, you know, to answer lots of people asking about the, the orbital map and what it is. I think lots of questions from Pete Clar, C L A A R, Clar? Yeah. Yeah. No, so, yeah. Um, about the map. What is it? You know, it, it's. <sighs> It's kind of, how would you best describe it? It's kind of like a... Uh, a bit of a visual representation of uh, the way the album's... Could, nice shot at the top of your uh, head there, uh, Phil, yeah, actually. No. Oh, yeah, it's a visual it representation of, of oh, like the, the sound and the structure of the album. Not, It's not, obviously, there's not note for note there. There's no notation. We don't know how the songs are going to musically sound, but it's kind of how we want it to be... Sonically, and that's our kind of sonic representation. It's like a reminder, but the thing is, the more we go through, we've got notebooks full of information that sort of list stuff um, from six years ago, by the looks of that, that list stuff as to, you know, each section, what's going to happen, and as we go along, you know, we'll probably pin notes to it to sort of, you know, remind us of, which reminds me, I've just remembered what it was, I forgot about this section. I've got a really good idea, you know the little tails? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a really good idea for backwards reverb, and then as we put it down, shorten the reverb until it hits okay, we real don't time. Okay, secrets away. You know, uh, that's, see, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. That, that's drawn up, there. I don't know what music's gonna go into that, but that's just kind of, what's gonna, what's gonna happen, but look, I have to tell you, it's nearly six o'clock. We've got an hour to record this demo of Satan to listen to when we're drunk over the weekend. Um, I want to go and get drunk at six o'clock tonight, or about six o'clock or seven. Where I, I, I want to start late. Huh? Where are you going? I'm just going to drink at home. I'm oh, just going to. Okay. I'm just going to crack open the real ale, order a curry, start my Friday night. Chuck this on the um, Zeppelin and um, see how it sounds. So we've got to stop. Because yeah. um, we've got to start. See you next time. You need to press stop so we can start. <laughs> uh, sneaking up behind Paul, just uh, just looking over his shoulder, seeing what he's doing, getting ready for the Valencia gig, DJ gig that we got. Just work on a reworking on new uh, Satan. Oh, he stopped. I don't think you can see that. Sounded mighty fine though, I must say. Can't wait to play it next Saturday. Should be good fun. Ooh. Oh, that's nice.